Today, new details today on why this local top cop was let go. First Alert 4 first told you Chief Douglas Schaeffler was fired by the Baldwin Board of Aldermen back in December. And now the former chief is fighting back. And it is a legal battle that will no doubt cost you, the taxpayers. Chief investigative reporter Lauren Traeger has been digging through new court records and even the chief's emails. She tells us the back and forth has only just begun. In these documents, the former chief is now suing, claiming the city, its aldermen and employees conspired against him and he was wrongfully let go. But the mayor is telling a different story, alleging what the chief did was violate the law. They need to lock their car doors. Don't leave your keys in the cars. Chief Douglas Schaeffler was head of Baldwin PD since 2019. He'd even recently been president of the St. Louis Area Police Chiefs Association. In October, he was quietly put on leave from Baldwin with little public knowledge as to why and officially fired in December. Now, for the first time, Baldwin's mayor is outlining the reasons on social media writing that after allegations made by police officers, they hired an outside investigator who they say found five substantiated allegations against the chief, including purchasing alcohol while on duty and or in uniform, misuse of a system to obtain criminal and traffic information for non-law enforcement purposes, and harassment, discrimination, and or retaliation of employees. The mayor says the chief also operated a city vehicle after consuming alcohol, but Schaeffler's lawsuit says the city provided no proof of these allegations. Instead, it claims he was being unfairly targeted because he had provided information about a criminal complaint regarding the mayor and former city manager to a neighboring department. We are still working to learn more about that complaint. First Alert 4 Investigates submitted a public records request for all of Schaeffler's emails around the time of his ouster. Though hundreds of pages were provided, they give little insight into what really happened. The city explicitly left out at least six emails to or from the former chief. They are closed records, the city says, because of open investigations or personnel matters. In his lawsuit, the chief is demanding his job back with back pay and benefits and damages. Certainly fighting all this in court could prove costly for the city. The mayor was unavailable for an on-camera interview today, but wrote in his statement, quote, we had hoped to move forward as a city from Schaeffler's tenure as chief, but now are left using taxpayer money to fight a frivolous lawsuit. Again, it is just the beginning of this legal battle, and we will keep covering it. I'm Lauren Traeger, First Alert 4 Investigates.